Welcome to Eating Out. I am back in London and this time I am visiting Pizarro, which is a fantastic Spanish restaurant. And I'm going to meet Jose, who's going to share one of my favorite Spanish tapas and we'll get to eat some other food. So come join me. In the kitchen with the lovely Jose <laughs> and I'm really really excited because he's agreed to show us croquetas. Croquetas. They are so good. <laughs> so good and so easy to make. Yes. Today we are going to do just prompts, caramelized onion and parsley. Easy, yummy. I will show you how easy it is to make with different flavors. And that's it. Brilliant. Just to enjoy. The most important thing always is the fat. In this case we are going to use butter. When the butter is very hot we are Flour. So every household has got their own croquetta flavors. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. My mom, for example, she loves cod bacalao croquetas. She just mm -hmm. makes when she cook the, the cod yeah. and with, uh, with onions. In this case, we are using a uh, fish stock. We add the fish stock to the milk. It has to be very hot milk and stock. Very important as well, we have to cook the butter very, very well. The butter and the flour. Okay, so the flour needs to cook out. So. Need to cook out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, when the flour is cooked, we will add the milk and, stock. and the stock okay. very slowly. In the meantime, we will saute the prawns. In this case, never do it, but I'm using one of my favorite olive oil. This olive oil is stunning, it's from Extremadura, in my area. When the oil is hot, we will add the prawns, cook a little bit, and then, in this case, I love caramelized onion. Oh. I think caramelized onion as croquetas are so versatile. I love it just in a toast. Oh, I was just going to say that. Toast. On a toast. Piece of goat cheese, caramelized onion in the grill for one minute, and you are going to be in heaven. And then I'm going to put some parsley there to okay. cook it, and then we will add more parsley to the bechamel. Okay. In this point, is when you can add any flavor to the bechamel. Okay. Today, we say again, prawns, caramelized onion, parsley. But at the same time, you can have diced chorizo, jamón, yeah. vegetarian. Now we will place it in a pan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The mix has to be nice and cool, because another way it will be not possible to roll. But when you fry it, yes. we will go back. Go back to being to lovely and lovely, moist and gooey. Okay, moist. gooey. Look at that. Nice. You can make try like that. Oh, oh really, that's so good. Really good. It's a little bit fish, yeah. sweetness, and the parsley, believe it or not, is giving lovely, lovely it aroma. It is, it is. For you, I have this one already. Very this good. one is not, cool down it's cooled down already, okay. and you can see the texture is different. Yeah. Very important to put the clean film, because we'll stop to make the film, okay. to dry, Skin, to dry yeah. out. Yeah. Huh? And then it's ready for roll it, flour, egg, and breadcrumb. And that's it. And then, straight Deep to fun. the fryer. Wow. Croqueta. <laughs> that all looks amazing. We have a uh, endive salad, octopus, very popular oh. in Spain as well, with mashed potato. And these are the prawns. Mm. As you can see, they are white prawns from South Spain. We saute with chili, garlic, and parsley. And then we have a toast and a poached egg. Eat the body, suck the head, and then when you finish the with all the prawns, mix the egg with the bread and the olive oil. <laughs> and it's heaven. Oh my god. And this one are croquetas. Yes. And this one for you I make with a squid ink. Okay. Prawns and a squid. Lovely. And you can have it, have one. Oh. Still nice and hot. And look at this. Oh my god! As you remember, yes. that is the bechamel. I absolutely love all of this dish, but that octopus is amazing. amazing. Oh wow! It's all, it's all about flavors. Is there one dish which you would recommend from the, your menu? I know it's a really hard question. I think it's very difficult when you um, because everything on the menu. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's something that I put in the menu and I'm not sure yeah. for the customer. Oh, I'm not sure. I take it out so quick. Wow. Everything on the menu, I love it. Um, 
So, how old is this restaurant then? This one is uh, six and a half. Years old? Years old. Wow. Jose, the tapas bar, is um, seven years in May. I'm, I'm living in the UK for 19 years. Amazing. Yeah. London is my home. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I say the same because, you know, I've been in the UK for 14 years and it, this is home for me. And you've got many books, um, uh, four to be precise, um, but these two are your latest ones. Yeah. I noticed that you've done regions. I start uh, with Euskadi. Euskadi yeah. is Basque. This is in, um, in Spanish, the Spanish edition. Yes. Then I did uh, Catalonia. Yes. And it's on the way Andalusia and Extremadura. Extremadura is where, where I'm coming from. Uh, yeah, very, very busy. <laughs> I love to be busy. So lots of amazing Spanish recipes in this book um, if you want to see. But I've thoroughly enjoyed the food today and um, I, I'm just, uh, thank you so much. No. I, I'm so grateful you let us into your kitchen. Anytime. Um, and showed us these amazing croquettas. I can't stop eating them. Somebody, somebody stop me. Um, but yeah. Keep um, enjoying them. I know. Life is, life is enjoyed. Oh, as simple so as that. good. And food is part. Life. Yes, absolutely. Um, but uh, thank you so very well, much. Thank you for, thank you for um, coming. Anytime, letting you us know. Into your kitchen and. Mi casa es tu casa. My home is your home. Oh, that is such a lovely <laughs> thing. Um, I will leave all the details of the restaurant in the description box and you must come and visit this place because they have got some amazing, amazing food. Um, and thank you so much and I'll get back to you next week with a brand new recipe. I need to eat some more eat. croquettas. <laughs> <laughs>